Hello everyone. Today we will be computing for the average rate of change. Average rate of, average rate of change is calculated by determining the slope between two points. And if we recall, the formula for slope is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. The reason why this is called average rate of change because in the function that we will have, it's not going to be a straight line. A straight line will have a fixed slope. It will have always a fixed rate of change but if it's not a straight line like whatever fun uh, whatever function that is like a, a parabola or quadratic uh, function then the uh, the slope may not be the same as we go around the uh, the uh, the shape of the graph so that means we take only the average rate of change so let's take this example right here I have a table and we are supposed to determine the average rate of change for when x is equal to negative 1 and when x is 0. So looking at this, when x is negative 1 is right here, I will label this as our x sub 1. And then x is 0, I will label this as our x sub 2. On the other side, I will label this as our y sub 1 and this is our y sub 2. So then we go ahead and plug it in to the equation over here. So that would be uh, y sub 2 is, uh, so I'm going to write here the average rate of change. So average rate of change is equal to, that would be y sub 2 is 2 minus, then y sub 1 is 16 over, x sub 2 is 0 minus negative 1 is the x sub 1. So then we go ahead and change this to plus and plus. So this would come out negative 14 over 1, or which is pretty much negative 14 is the average rate of change. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try the second problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So x is equal to one. So I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna use a different color for this. Um, this would be our x sub one, and then x is equal to two is our x sub two. So then we can name this also as our y sub one and y sub two, and then we plug this into the equation for the average rate of change. So that's the average rate of change is equal to y sub 2 is 4 and then minus y sub 1 is negative 2 so that's a negative 2 and then x sub 2 is 2 minus x sub 1 is 1 and then we can change this to plus and plus so then that comes out to be 6 over 2 which can be rewritten as um, just 3. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the second example right here. In this second example, we are given a graph. Now we are supposed to determine the average rate of change between these two points. So first, uh, when x is equal to 0. So when x is 0, it's right here. So x is 0, this is our point when x is 0. And the coordinate for this is 0 and negative 3. So that's 0 and negative 3. That's when x is 0. And when x is negative 2, x is negative 2. The dot is all the way to 5. So this is um, the point. This point when x is negative 2 is negative 2 and 5. So then we can label this as our x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So then the average rate of change can be um, computed using the same equation again, y sub 2. So our y sub 2 is 5. So I'm going to write um, 5 minus y sub 1 is negative 3 over x sub 2 is negative 2. x sub 1, that's minus 0. So then we can uh, change this to plus and plus. So that would come out 8. That's going to be a positive 8 over negative 2. So then the answer is negative 4. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try these two problems out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. 
Okay, so we go over the second problem right here. So when x is 1, so x is 1, so this is the dot that we're talking about. So I'm going to use red for this. Um, when x is 2, x is 2, this is our dot. Oops, by the way, we are the, the slope that we're referring to, by the way, here is this line that we got here. So if we connect those two dots together, that's the line and the slope of this, the average slope of this line is negative 4. Okay, so going back here, so this would be the uh, two dots. So the first dot here is, this is when x is 1. So that would be 1 and negative 4. And then this other dot right here, when x is 2, this would be 2 and that's a negative 3. 2 and negative 3. So if we draw a line here, if we connect these two dots together, so um, so this is the line. Now, as you can see, it doesn't really fit the line because this is a curve. So it's like a curve portion right here. So that what we're getting right now is the average, not the exact uh, exact slope. Okay, so then we go ahead and um, write this as our x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So then the average, so then the average rate, of change for this would be the same formula y sub 2 y sub 2 is negative 3 minus y sub 1 is negative 4 x sub 2 2 minus x sub 1 1 so then we go ahead and simplify this so that's a plus and plus so that would be a positive 1 over 1 so then the slope for this or the average rate of change is positive one. Did you get a positive one for this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the second problem right here. When x is one, so when x is one is right here, it's, it's the same dot. So that's x is one. And then when x is negative one, so negative one is right here. So this is when x is negative 1. So again, we can write this as 1 and negative 4. That is when x is 1. I'm using blue for the third problem here. So and then we got the other equation, uh, the other dot right here, which is when x is negative 1, y is 0. So negative 1 and 0. So we can label this as our x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So average rate of change we use the same formula we got in the front that would be y sub 2 y sub 2 is 0 minus y sub 1 is negative 4 and then x sub 2 is negative 1 minus x sub 1 is 1 so this comes out to be that's a plus and plus so then this would come out 4 over negative 2 so then this is a negative 2 and this makes sense because the slope for a line that uh, that is uh, decreasing in term I mean that is going down from left to right is a negative slope or is a negative value did you get the same answer as this one and negative two good perfect if you find this video helpful hit like and subscribe for more math videos see ya